Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Raw and Uncut Ministry presents to you Low Down Dirty Shame. I'll explain that to you later on in this video. But right now, at this moment, we're going to take a cruise down Kingston Avenue. So ride with me. I got some things I want to show you. So, right now we are driving down Allegheny Avenue. Yes, this is Allegheny Avenue. The streets look terrible. The streets is full of drug addicts. You have people here that's on meth, that's on fentanyl, that's on heroin. And this is like 11 or 12 o'clock at night. People are up doing drugs, on drugs, trying to get money to find drugs, to buy drugs. This is now we are on Kensington Avenue. And these are also people who are homeless and also doing drugs. You have your thugs hanging on the corner, hanging out. You also have prostitutes walking the streets trying to find somebody so that they can make some money to buy their drugs. One thing I learned out here in Kensington is that everybody out here that's on these drugs, everybody got a different type of hustle. You have women that prostitute themselves for the money so that they can buy the drugs. You even have men, believe it or not, out here that prostitute themselves for the money to get the drugs. You have some guys and some girls that are going to these stores and they call it boost. And they will actually steal things out of the store and then they will sell it to the people on the streets. You have people that panhandle by the highway. People do all types of things everything that they feel like they got to do to get that drug they know they can't sit there all day and just wait for somebody to bring it so they're gonna hustle to make sure they get this drug right now i want to talk to you about back in the days way back then when the streets wasn't this bad man I remember when we was young, and I'm talking about back in the 70s and the 80s. I could be walking to the store, and you take a little candy wrapper and throw it on the ground, one of the older folks would say, hey, son, get that off of that floor. Pick that up, put that in your pocket. This our neighborhood. And you know what I would say as a young kid? Yes, ma'am, pick it up. I don't even have to know her. It. It's just because of her age. See, I was always taught to respect not only your mother and your father, but to respect your elders. You don't even talk back to your elders. Even if you don't agree what they're saying, you would say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. That's just the way it was back in the 70s and the 80s. That was back in the days. Today, these, these kids are very disrespectful. So right now, I got a story coming up. I got a story that I'm gonna let this woman tell you how disrespectful these kids are today. Coming up after this right here, after me talking to this gentleman, I want you to look who I run into. What's up, bro? You all right? You okay, bro? You all right? Yeah, I just wanna make sure you don't fall forward. Just checking on you, man. You all right? You don't wanna go sit down somewhere? Huh? You ain't sleepy? All right, just making sure, man, you know you can fall head, head forward, man. Bust your head open. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just checking on you, bro. Thanks. All right, all right, all right. Woo! 
you doing? You okay? Yes. Yeah. You ready to go to the hospital? You get ready to go to the hospital? Yeah, one of your young guys punched me in my eye last night. Oh, that's why your eyes swollen? Yeah. Let me see it. A bunch of fucking kids. Why would they do that? Because they snatched my money out my hand in the store. Them group of kids. Yeah. And they hit you in your eye. He snatched my money and I snatched it the fuck back. Uh. And, uh, and then they was like, damn, you let grandma take her money and shit. And he punched me in my eye. Did you call the police? For what? What they gonna do? They yeah. don't do shit. You right. They don't do nothing. You they right. been robbing people around here lately and everything. They know it's a group of kids going around here doing that shit. And they don't do a fucking thing. No. Sorry to hear about that, man. They don't do nothing. And that's sad. And when that happened? Yesterday? Last night. In Last the 24 night. hour store. Yeah. In the store. Yeah. Yeah. But well, just be careful. That's all I can tell you. Just yeah, be careful. Yeah, well, I'm going to go to the hospital now. Yeah, yeah. Let, yeah. Because when I blow my nose, I don't get it nothing hurt. but a whole lot of blood. Oh. Uh, so they must have shattered something in my socket. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, you can tell these these officers in the booth, and they'll call a, they'll call the ambulance for you, take you if you need it. No, I don't want them to call no ambulance for me. I'm going to jump right on the bus. Okay, okay. I'm going to Frankfurt Hospital. That's the one I want to go to. They want to take you to Episcopal Hospital. I don't want to go to. Where's Frankfurt? Up there near Bridge and Prince. Oh, okay, that's not far from here. Well, um. About 10 blocks. About 10 blocks? But they don't want to take me to that one. I want to go to this one. Okay, okay. All right. All right, man. Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. All right. Wow, man. Yes, that lovely Hispanic woman right there that you see, that is my wife. I took my wife with me when we was down there in Kingston. I took her with me so she could see what I see. A lot of times she's at home watching those videos, but I took her with me so she can see, uh, you know, live the things that happened. She couldn't believe so many people was out in the street this particular night at this particular time. But we both got a chance to see this woman's eye and to hear this woman's story. And that is a low down dirty shame what them youngsters did to that older woman. That is disrespectful. And I'm gonna tell you something. Back in the 70s, back in the 80s, way back when, there is no way that them youngsters would have got away with that. So I got a message for the youngsters who put their hands on this woman. Just in case you stumble across this channel. You may have thought what you did was gangster. That wasn't gangster. You put your hand on an old woman. And you need to be ashamed of yourself. So be happy that you're born in the millennium. Cause back in the day, you wouldn't have got away. Think about the years I was raised. Back in the day. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. And everybody back in the say, days I when I was way young, back I'm not when. And anymore. everybody but some say, days I, I sit and wish I was a kid And everybody say, I remember way back when. Back in the days when. Back in the days when.